exhausted. I've been on this street a thousand times. It's never looked so strange. The face is so cold. In the distance, a child is crying. Fatherless. A bastard child, perhaps. My back aches. My heart aches. But my feet... My feet are resilient. Thank God I took off my heels and put on my... Andy Ridge motorcycle boot. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Chopper Bet channel. My name is Brett. We make the motorcycle videos and motorcycle vlogs here on the YouTube. Last week, we decided to review some Indy Ridge motorcycle gloves, brown leather and denim to be exact. And whew, man, do they feel good. This week, I was gonna review these boots, but a better boot has been introduced to me. Let's roll the intro and we'll get into what that better boot actually is. Roll it. Let me tell you what. These new boots are even better than my old boots. Both are made by Andy Ridge. Both are really the exact same boot. So why are they different? Well, the Cheyennes, which are my brown boot here, are what they call the version 1.0. So this was pretty much their first batch of doing a motorcycle boot. They recently released the 2.0, which is available for all boots except for the Comanches because the Comanches are our own special boot in itself. So for the 2.0s, they have a ton of new features added to them. I was walking around all day in the 1.0s, as I'm calling them, before, and I thought they were the most comfortable thing in the world. But now, these guys are just even that much better. I never thought I'd find a better motorcycle boot than the... 1.0 here, but I I did. Well, what I'm going to do here today is because there's other reviews out there for the boots in general. I'm going to highlight some of the differences that I have found between the two and the one. And then that way, when you go to buy yours, you know you're getting the best quality product. I have confirmed that if you order from Amazon or Indy Ridge's website, you will get this version. You won't have to worry about getting the original version, which again, if you, if you have a pair of these, these are so Bloody comfortable. <laughs> well, let's get into uh, the differences here that I have noticed just after about a month of using the new version here. We're gonna start first with the design here. So as you can see, the 1.0, the Cheyenne, has a little bit more of an uplift to it. Uh, what I actually found was happening with the 1.0s were I'd go to upshift, and I don't always bring my foot all the way back down, but because I don't do that, my transmission actually never actually fully disengages uh, my upshift and so I would try going again and I, I want to be able to upshift. With this lower profile here now I can easily do the exact same movement that I was doing before however this time I'm not missing any shifts so that was the first thing I even noticed about these two boots off the get-go was the design of the sole of the boot. Now, speaking of the sole of the boot let's go ahead and just flip them over here. All right so as you can see here the design is really pretty similar, but they are ever so different. We do now have the Indy Ridge logo on the bottom, and I believe these even run a tad bit wider, as you can see how narrow this is versus this one here. 
These do seem to be a little bit wider as well, as you can kind of see here. There is maybe a maybe a half inch difference in the middle there, which just gives the foot a lot more space inside of the boot. So that's comfort aspect number one. And now comfort aspect number two is actually the inside of the shoe. All right, so here's the inside of the two and the one. Now, sorry, my hand's a little exposed trying to get this uh, shown here, but this is the padding that goes around the ankle, which was adequate before, but now you only see probably double the padding here now. What's really great about this is it just hugs your ankle. There were some times before that these kind of felt like they would slip just a little bit just because the padding isn't quite as thick. But then as you can see here, it's been fixed and remedied in this new version. So overall, these boots are extremely well done. These are going to be the boots that are going to be for sale for a long time to come as well. What I love about them is as you get them dirty, you get them muddy, they come clean so easily. A little bit of what I think is called Aussie leather conditioner shines these things back up to new. I've put these things through hell in the one month that I've had them. And they have already come back. I put just a little bit on them about two weeks ago and it's held up very well. So, you know, there's not much else to say about boots except for these things are super comfortable and you guys should really give them a shot. As always, they're going to give you a card that has the CEO's phone number on there as well. So you're gonna get one of these and it's gonna have his phone number on there as well. The nice thing about it is if you have any questions or concerns about fitment or anything, give Steve a call, give the company a call. They're going to make sure it's right. And that's what I love about them. These are even done in small batches. So the fact that they're done in small batches is they can, they can adapt and change. Like the gloves are always adapting and changing. These have changed from version one now to version two, and they're just getting better and better. Uh, with that being said though, I do hope you uh, enjoyed this video here today. Go ahead and also check out any Ridges website below. I'm not getting any sort of kickback from them or anything along those lines. I'm just trying to put out a product from a company that I truly, truly believe in. With that being said though, again, my name is Brett. This is the Chopper Fed channel, and I'll catch you on the next Dark Side as this is the way. Chopper Fed out.